Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to install OpenFoam version 2406 using WSL. So WSL is Windows Subsystem Linux where you can get almost all the access of a Linux system within your Windows machine. So that is what we are going to see. We are going to start from the installation of WSL and get till the installation of OpenFoam 2406. And also I have an additional tip on how to set up the OpenFoam so that it does not consume a lot of space in your hard disk or ssd so usually wsl has this problem where even after you delete certain files inside the wsl architecture it will not show us free space in your hard disk so we will see one method which will rectify that problem so to install open foam you can visit this website openfoam.com there are two versions i will suggest using this one so once you go to openfoam.com you go to downloads here press on linux then this will open up this window so here you can press debian plus ubuntu and it will open a new window and these are the commands that we have to run in a terminal which is the linux terminal to install open form so for that we need a wsl right so we will see how to install that first you can open your uh, command prompt in a regular fashion then you can choose any drive that you want if you want to use your c drive only you can just type all the commands which i'm typing directly but now let us say that i want to use my d drive then i will put d colon press enter and it will take me there so it's up to you on which drive you want to do it i have multiple drives and i don't want to put it in c so i am putting it in d if you want to continue with c you can do it then the command is okay let me zoom it up slightly wsl space hyphen d sorry hyphen hyphen install space hyphen d space ubuntu hyphen 24.04 so version 24.04 is the latest version so i am installing that if it asks for any permission you can give it and it will take a bit of time to install the wsl so let us wait till it is over okay now the installation is happening i'll give it the access now after it has downloaded it is installing now let's wait till it installs okay now the installation has been done and it is saying the requested operation is successful but the changes will not be effective until the system is rebooted so generally we will have to reboot but for some system it might or might not work without a reboot so let us see whether it is working without a reboot if it's not working then we will reboot so to check whether it's working or not just hit your search button then search for uh, ubuntu yeah so it is showing ubuntu 24.04 just press enter okay you can see that it is giving me an error this may take a few minutes and the wsl register distribution failed and all so for me it did not work without a reboot so i am going to proceed and uh, reboot so once the reboot is done then i will show you what is the procedure so now i will reboot okay now my system has been rebooted so what i am going to do is just search for ubuntu this might open automatically or might not open automatically so let it take some time then once the installation is over it will ask for username and password then we will do the setup because this is like a separate machine inside your windows machine so we have to give the username and password okay now it is asking for a username so i am just entering a username press enter then it will ask for a password but you have to be very careful while typing the password because when you type usually when we type password anywhere either it will show what we are typing or it will show at least a star or some symbol right but here now it will not show anything so you have to type it very carefully and it will ask for a confirmation also so now i am going to type enter and it will ask to retype the password so type it again carefully and make sure that you are not giving any uh, space special character while typing your username or password so it should not have any uh, special character or it should not have any spaces in between so once you do that this window will appear and this is your wsl machine so how will you know whether you are in wsl or in command prompt so when you are in wsl you will see that your username at your device name will appear here but if you are on your uh, command prompt 
then this will all be white right and it will just say c users hp the laptop name all that will come here so here you will be getting this green color and then it will be followed by blue, blue color so all that will be there that is how you know that you are in your wsl so let me close this and open a new ubuntu terminal now we can start installing our uh, open foam so the first method is like just copy this go to your terminal either right click right mouse button or just press ctrl v so mostly right button will work right button press enter now it is asking for a password right so you have to type it very carefully you have to remember the password all the time you should not forget it otherwise you have to uninstall your wsl and reinstall it again it's going to be a big problem so always remember the password now it is saying the repository is set up you can now install packages so first we have to update get updates the updates for the packages so copy this right click press enter it will search for any updates available this might take a bit of time so once that is done we are ready to install so you just copy this entirely go here right click use your left arrow button to change this to 2406 instead of 2312 then press enter then it will ask for a confirmation right now it is asking yes or no and it will consume one two four six mb of additional space so i'll type y hit enter it doesn't matter whether it is small y or capital y you don't have to worry about that so once you press type y press enter just wait for open foam to get installed so once the installation is done i'll get back to you okay now the installation of open foam is also done but if you see that it is uh, giving us some instructions to do so now let us do that Okay, to do that, just type explorer.exe space dot, press enter. Okay, then uh, this window will open. Here you can see that you have a file called dat, dot bash rc. Now, if this file is not there, this location is not there, then in the terminal you just type cd once, then you type the explorer.exe and it will be fine. Okay. So now you can open this dot bash rc file either in vs code or in notepad so, or if you have any other text editor anything is fine so once you open that go go to the last line okay just create one more line after the fi this should be the last line okay now here you have to type this command that is uh, shown here okay i'm just uh, going to type it out you can also copy paste but i generally like to type it so don't miss the dot starts with dot space slash usr slash lib slash open foam slash open foam 2406 slash etc slash bash rc so once you type that without any mistakes i hope i did not make any mistakes save the file close this close this also then open a new ubuntu okay. okay now you have to type the set of commands that i am telling you it's mkdir space hyphen p dollar foam underscore run so notice that foam underscore run is capital press enter okay now what we are going to do is we are going to create a location where you can use your open foam so you don't follow any other youtube tutorial they will be using the location where wsl is installed that will cause problems so i will tell you this and you follow this all the time so go to your drive any drive c or d or e wherever you have space then create a new folder called open foam here you can create another new folder called version 2406 press enter i am just doing this because if you want to create any other versions later then you can have it nicely there okay now what we are going to do is going to open the same explorer.exe space dot in this location open the bash rc go to the last line and just type out this command alias equal to open a colon cd space then you have to type slash mnt slash then 
you just go to this location if you are in c drive then you have to type small c if you are in d drive it's small d for me it's small d slash then this location okay so it's open foam slash v2406 then close the single coach now here we have to give this a name so i am going to call this of2406 okay there is no space between this and this and all so just save this close this bash rc open the sorry close the ubuntu open a new one okay so whenever you want to run any open form simulation just type this it will take you to this location okay this is inside windows that is what this mnt me mnt means so now let's test it i am going to create a new file called file you can see that it is appearing here instead of wsl location so we don't want this file okay so what i am going to do now is i am going to copy all the tutorials if you are familiar with open foam you will know that all the people use the tutorials to do anything we want so the command here is cp space hyphen r dollar foam underscore tutorials space dot don't miss the dot so once you do that the tutorials folder will be copied here if you are completely new to open foam just follow this trust me with the process don't worry what this tutorial means why are we doing this and all you will get a hold of it later but for now just copy the tutorials folder here and whenever you are following any open form tutorial open this location first type of06 in your ubuntu terminal then you will be able to uh, get to this location once you get to this location then you can do the tutorials that they are telling you so in fact we will create one more folder where you will be able to uh, copy all the tutorials create separate folder for all the cases that you are running instead of putting everything in the tutorials so we will also create that once this copying is done so once your tutorials folder is completely copied just create a new folder called run then you can enter the folder called run through this okay now in fact you can open this location every time right so when you open a new terminal this will be something like this right so once the terminal is open just type of2406 then it will take you there then you can enter the run location so this is where it is then you can run any case that you want so there is also another way let's say you are having multiple folder inside run then you have to navigate right instead of that you can just right click here open in terminal okay any location this works for any location open any location in windows just right click open in terminal so once it is open in the terminal just type wsl enter then it will open the ubuntu terminal here then you don't have to worry about uh, opening the location through your terminal and this will work all the time for any location okay this is open so this that's it for the installation of open form then you can follow the other tutorials in other videos make sure to like the video if you liked it if you have any doubts you can comment down in the video thank you